Hey guys, what's up? I'm sorry, I'm gonna have to do this pretty quietly and hopefully pretty fast because I'm not the only one around in the house right now and plus my little brother's about to come home, I think and I'm using his laptop, so... Anyway, I I was facing Jaybro this week and I say I was because that's about, because I already faced him uh, I did not have time um, or a laptop to my disposal uh, after I finished building the team and I... Um, well, had to fight Jaybro before I could record the pre-team talk thing, but I'll do that kind of ish right now. Um, Jaybro's team, you can see it on the squad um, on the left. It's Conkeldor, Ladios, Fogrona, Gastrodon, Mega Scissor, The Thrill, Rotom Mo, Steelix, Plotzel, Clefable, and Drapio. And as you can see, it's again a Clefable, so uh, it's annoying. It's pretty centralizing, maybe over centralizing at least in the league uh, against my team in this, this, this league format. And uh, yeah, well, it's annoying. I guess that's the main. Where's my phone? Button? I don't know. Um, that's that's the main thing I want to say. And because of that, I figured he would bring the combination of Kofel and Draken. Because in my first game, very first game, I faced uh, Kofel too, and I beat him. Um, with my real quest that was future set. So I figured he would definitely go with a Drapion expecting me to bring a uh, to deal with the favor. And um, he didn't. I was willing to bet money on it as well. I was like, okay, he's guaranteed. Can guarantee it. Sorry. People. Um anyway. I also expected him to bring Floatzel because Floatzel is basically um, the fastest thing on his team and it outspeeds most of my squad except for Raiko, uh, which it speed dies with. So I expect him to bring uh, Floatzel, um, expect him to bring Rotom Mo because Rotom Mo just generally deals good damage to my team, especially if it's specs or life up. And um, he can be a trick set, can annoy my, my walls, can annoy my de defensive core for that, uh, for that matter. And um, yeah, he can just gain momentum by fault switching. If he's Scarf, which I kind of expect him to bring, because of my Mega the Gyarados. Um, because he cannot speed bankers, even if it's uh, boosted to plus one. I, I think he'll... Uh, yeah, I think, I think yeah, that's basically what I think. <laughs> I think he'll bring Rotom Um As I think he'll bring Mega Scissor. It's a bit of an if he think he bring either Mega Scissor or Falcolona. At least that was my, my thought process. But he could definitely bring both because uh, I've got one really good counter slash check uh, for both of them, uh, being Arcanine, and I guess put together they um, he could definitely uh, pressure me to the point where uh, I can no longer check one of them, um, the other the other like mom which he didn't use to begin with. And uh, if he brings Mega Scissor, which I expect him to bring, and that leaves him an opportunity for Latios to not be defog if his Mega Scissor is, for example, defog. So I figured he'll bring Latios as well. Uh, the other thing I could fear Latios being was Scarf, because Scarf Latios can trick uh, Bronzong, for example, it can uh, share volume, it can uh, outspeed my most of my mons, uh, being Raikou, Tornadus, and Superior, which it outslows uh, at this current point in time. And especially because uh, all of them really, they, they do have stuff to hit Latios with, so I, I, I expect him to bring Scarf Latios. And Kodkelder could be a thing he like he would bring, I didn't expect it to, but because he, he's brought to every one of his matches uh, as of yet, I did I did definitely prepare for Kodkelder. Um, anyway, on to the this few things I wrote down on his team, there weren't many because um, he didn't have a lot of weaknesses. His team was uh, pretty well rounded uh, all around. Uh, the thing I did notice was that Steelix was his only flying resist, and I really didn't think Steelix would be brought to this battle. And he has got uh, three months with quad weaknesses, uh, being uh, Gastro, Fokrona, and Scissor. So, yes, uh, those were weaknesses I could definitely exploit. And other than that, he has a uh, well rounded synergy, his uh, defense, um, uh, offensive stats. Pretty good. Um, Mega Scissor is a threat. He's got priority. He's got speed. He's got slow things. I don't know. It's a pretty good, uh, pretty good team, I'd say. Um, he's got two hazard removers, both being defogers. Uh, one of them being Scissor, the other being uh, Latios. Shut up, phone. Uh, I'm gonna put it on silent. After I, uh, okay, that's, that's 
useless WhatsApp. Um, and he has a pretty hassle team, and that's because he's obviously got Falkrona, which is like a big thing, but I didn't expect him to bring Falkrona. I did definitely prepare for it because the burn hex uh, is definitely something he can rely on if it's bulky Falkrona. If anything, I think he'll bring bulky Falkrona because he can set up uh, on my Arcanine, he can set up on uh, multiple things, he can just roost it off. And, uh, for example, Needle Queen, he can set up, set up on Needle Queen if I'm special Needle Queen. So. And if I'm physical, then I fear the burn, most likely. And um, kind of lost my train of thought, but uh, oh yeah, um, I like Hazard Weeks because, of course, the Fable is. Uh, well, and, and I know once uh, hazards are up, I know what the Fable set he's running, if it's an unaware set, if it's the magic card set, and I can play accordingly to that. And the yeah, Duck Trio is often a sesh, and especially because uh, how he played it so far, it's uh, often a sesh Duck Trio, and uh, that means that he's, well, kind of weak to um, to the um, three style rocks, because the sesh is obviously broken, and you can have set up three hazards, or cannot reverse only once he's at 1% health. And, you know, stuff like that. Uh, anyway, on to the squad I brought versus, uh, versus j Bro, this man. It uh, starts with Tornadus. Tor Tornadus. And it's, um, like I said, he's got no flying resist except for Steelix. Uh, for Steelix, I brought the Heat Wave uh, as well for Mega Scissor, which I kind of expected to be bulky if he decided to bring it. Or even defensive, maybe. Like a physically defensive with Dome Pass. I did not expect him to bring that, but. He might be like physically or especially defensive and still um, try and set up on me, uh, expecting to take like, all the hits he could. Um, but yeah, I bred acrobatics, knockoff. Uh, acrobatics, of course, because it's not flying resist, like I said. Uh, the knockoff because it hit Latios for good damage, um, especially once I pulled up. And um, the heat wave for Scissor and Steelix. I didn't bring superpower because uh, it still doesn't hit Steelix, um, Steelix for that hard, after, even after like one or two bulk ups. And uh, the scissor uh, with, the book book, with its bug typing resists the uh, superpower, at least it's a neutral now. And the heatwave is quite effective, so it's obviously the better choice. Um, next up, it's, it's by the way just uh, like full 252 uh, attack uh, speed, jolly, because that's what I need if he, in case he wasn't uh, scruff like this and this normal like this. Next up is Nidqueef, just a life orb offensive uh, set with max HP. It's flamethrower, of course, for the, um, the 40 scissor, sludge wave for the cloth fable mainly, air power for all around good um, to hit well and mainly for gastrodon or something, yeah, which I don't have any grass uh, except for obviously superior, but I expect him to switch out against them um, when he's facing my superior. <coughs> but yeah, and the ice beam uh, is mainly there for Latios to hit it uh, on switching if it's maybe like a defensive variant or a soul fast or if it's expects to, to, to lift the sludge wave and hit me up with a um, Psyshock or Draco, Drop Draco. Shout out to Joey Pokeyam of course because uh, his Drop Draco shit which I'm not gonna get because it's expensive as fuck. Yep, I'm a poor. Who guessed it? Anyway, Dragon Dance Taunt Gyarados, and the Taunt is mainly there for Fable because it's, like I said, pretty centralizing, and if it's unaware of Fable, I cannot win against it unless I do well with the Flinch, uh, flinch Hex. Or the Defense Drop Hex with Crunch, of course, that's a possibility. I think the Defense Drop matters if it's unaware. Yeah, because Calm, yeah, yeah, it, it, yeah, it definitely matters. Um, but yeah, I'm adamant because it hits it for most, uh, the most amount of damage, and also nothing really, uh, I don't benefit from being jolly, as, uh, except for if he's modest scarf, um, uh, Rodo Mo. But uh, yeah, I, it's not worth being jolly just for that scenario, which is unlikely gonna happen, so. Uh, I'm just dual step because I don't fi uh, need the Ice Fang, I Crunch does like 5% less, and uh, yeah, I figured Crunch would be enough to hit up uh, stuff like Thoughts with as well, which I don't really have too much for looking at this team. Uh, to the extent that he can sweep me with it if he plays his cards well, like the weakest my team enough. Uh, like, he outspeeds everything, and this is the bulkiest mono that I have, and he most likely cannot take it down in one hit. But if I run Waterfall and Ice Fang, I cannot take him down either. So, uh, Crunch, of course, just hits up light as well if it's. Uh, just like Ice Ring, of course, but Crunch is just more solid, secure. To secure the KO because it cannot miss, for example. And yeah. 
So Crunch over Waterfall and for that one we got. Next up is Arcanator, and Arcanator is mainly here to check, like I said, the Mega Scissor and the Valkyron. Um, I am running a lot of special defense because that is required to check the Valkyron a bit. Uh, Flare Blitz, Roar, Will Wisp, and Morning Sun. Um, the uh, defense investment is just to uh, be able to lift some hits uh, in case the Scissor gets to gets up to plus 2 or plus 4 even. Um, I'm not running any speed. Well, I run a little bit of speed. I think this is the to outspeed scissor by one point. The normal scissor, like if it's not um, uh, mega jet. So if it's mega scissor, make speed. He will outspeed me. He will be able to, uh, for example, go for knockoff or super power or whatever move he's running. Uh, so I don't, I don't want to weaken. Let this thing weaken too much because it's not fully physically defensive. So. Um, next up is Basilisk. It's um, finally just an offensive one for once. Um, the speed is because Lightyear is the, the best thing on this team except for Feltzel, which I do not have speed either way with uh, Superior. Uh, so, just 20, few, 20 more HP ADs for that. <laughs> um, the special attack, um, of course, just to, for him, for me to hit up as much uh, stuff uh, as hard as possible. And HP Fire because, of course, the Scissor, and Dragon Pulse for Lightyear, and um, Toxic for the Club Fable, in case he's unaware. Again. And last but not least is Balance, and Balance is mainly there to check stuff like Latios, to check well, a lot of different stuff. And I'm running Swiss Bin Stealth Rocks, so another Swiss item. This time not Trick, because I fear that Scissor is a lightly switchy. Um, Heavy Slam Explosions and Headbutt. Um, exp I mean, the, the main thing I want to do with this is just switch out uh, once I check, for example, Latios and English Side Shock, and I know it's. Uh, choice for example, and I can make a double switch. And uh, once I feel that I don't need balance anymore, I just go for an explosion, hit something for a massive amount of damage, and uh, yeah, go on from there. So that's basically the game plan behind balance and why I chose uh, chose this moveset. And I think that's about it. Um, the mons he did bring, um, like I said, I did expect him to bring uh, Drapion and Clefable, Rotomo, Floatzel, Latios and Mega Scissor. And with the Conkelder and the Falkrona being two options that he could definitely bring. And um, yeah, the mods that he did bring, I will quickly go to the replay, let's see if it's... Okay, I'll be right back. Okay, and on to the match, I will pause it real quick. As you can see, the team he brought was actually um, not as similar to what I expected him to bring. He didn't bring Fable and Drapion, and then him not bringing Fable was a huge relief for me because that meant that I could honestly uh, play a lot safer with my mods, and I could set up on stuff just because there was no, uh, there was no Fable around. Uh, possible in a work Fable, let's keep it that. And um, yes, um, also the thing I noticed was he didn't bring a stealth. Rock. And I have three stealth of weaknesses, so I felt really comfortable uh, with this team match here by now. Um, especially because he did bring, uh, he bring Gastrodon as well, which I didn't fear at all. I just didn't. I, I had so many answers for it, I just didn't even think he'd bring it because it's honestly, I wouldn't say, I would, I think it's, yeah, I can say terrible against my team. But it's not just bad, it's honestly, it's useless. I feel it's useless, honestly, I do feel it's useless. But, nevertheless, he did bring it, and uh, I mean it, it didn't do as bad as the other things. Uh, probably a very good effect, but yeah, just kidding. Um, I'll lead off with Arcanator because it's a pretty solid lead. Um, I don't fear the uh, the Latias because I do have a, a, a switch into it against uh, for it. I can say. Uh, anything else on this team basically loses against me, and I didn't expect him to lead up with Gastro though. So I felt. Um, Arcanoid was the safest, uh, the safest lead, and I figured I would just hit him up with uh, with a flower blitz, and um, and because he doesn't know what kind of set I am, I, I figured that he would switch out, even if he was like a spec set or a, a scarfed set, he would probably expect me to uh, be offensive, at least not expect me, but fear me being offensive because I let off it. But I'm effect defensive, and I just go for the flower blitz, take some damage because he's rocking helmet in fact. And it's pretty annoying, but it's whatever. I go for the Willowis because I am fairly special defensive and I know that I can lift this hit, these hits uh, very easily. And I go for the Morning Sun 
as he skulls. Uh, I think I go for another one at the or no, I switch. Um, because I figured that he wouldn't go for ice beam, and that's the main why I switch. I do have a nice um, uh, opportunity to leave storm, as you will see in the chat. I actually cancelled and went for the Dragon Pulse because I figured he wouldn't just stay in and I figured this Fall Corona would come in and I didn't know if it was Scarf Fall Corona because it could be like a lure set if you feel like I should be doing it. Um, and I did not know if it was Scarf Fall Corona because it could be like a lure set if you feel like I should be doing it. So I figured I would just Dragon Pulse for the most damage. But as you can see right here, I switch in Arcanine and he takes life of them. So he's not Scarf, meaning that um, I don't fear it uh, as much. And it's also not a defensive set, so uh, I, can, I can manage. And here I predict him to be a hidden power gun. And he is hidden power gun. At least he's going for hidden power gun. Um, honestly, I scouted for the HP gun because that's a standard smoking set. At least not necessarily standard, but for an offensive one, I did expect him to be uh, running something to hit a fire type In my opinion, hidden power rock would be a better choice, especially if you look at my team that I put on right here. But he was hidden power gun. Honestly, my, it, it was not the best play in my end because my better play would be to go into Tornadus um, because I could in fact outspeed him afterwards or just threaten his team out a lot more. I want easier to get that done because nothing resists acrobatics so, and nothing really takes it well except for um, Kestrodon. Anyway, I continue. Go for the crunch on the uh, expected Golden Mo switching. As he will wisps, he unfortunately misses. This could come, well, it kind of comes into play, I guess, uh, to an extent. As I just go for the Leaf Storm here, uh, expecting him to not go into Fall Corner this time. And here I go, like, you can see on the side, you cannot see the, the, full, um, the full conversation. But I expected him to predict me to be Hidden Power Fire and go into Scarf Latios because that's the only thing on his team I, I, that I, at least I can see that would be able to deal with uh, an offensive superior. And in fact, I do go for the Hidden Power, uh, not Hidden Power, for the Dragon Pulse, and he stays in. And here I feel, oh shit, okay, I hope he did it. Um, ah, it's fine, it's fine. I hope he did it. He made, he made a good play. Then he went for the short stance. He didn't go for a bug bite or U-turn. I don't know. I think he ran. He confirmed that he was running U-turn. He didn't go for a U-turn, and that means that I can um, bluff, being of uh, having not hidden power fire, and that's what I I do in the chat. And unfortunately, he falls for it. I am not proud of what I did, but because I didn't have the life come, I just could fool around in the chat a little bit, and it, it worked. It worked. He didn't go for the bullet punch. Um, bullet punch, however, would have not been a KO. But with the, um, it does uh, around 99% max, I think 98% max. So if he did get the burn on me, he likely would have gone for bullet punch or he would have gone for another setup. Uh, I think he, right here, I think he went for another uh, sword stance because after another sword stance, he could bullet punch my Arcanine for the KO. So. But, but yeah, I. Uh, if he did bullet punch me, uh, I wouldn't have died in this scenario, so uh, that's why uh, I went for this play. And because I didn't get have any prior damage uh, of his, because of his will was miss, I uh, felt safe playing it like this. So I do in fact take uh, down the Edward scissor hands because um, he didn't do an attack. Uh, and here his muscle man comes in because it's more than likely a soul test muscle man as that's the, the usually OU set plus it's the one he likes to win. Um, and I figured he would either go for the poison jab or for the ice punch and the ice punch is the most uh, likely one since of course it have made queen which is a pretty good check to, uh, to muscle man over here and he does in fact go for the ice punch and I do uh, reveal that I'm Yahtzee Berry and it wasn't uh, specifically uh, for the uh, ice punch for muscle man of course it was mainly for um, for floats, so but he didn't bring floats, so it definitely works out for me. Here he makes a questionable switch because, as you can see, um, he could leave a dragon pulse at this uh, this range. So I don't know why he switched this in. I think he should have set something uh, something else, for example, Gastrodon or for example, uh, just the muscle. I, did, I went for the um, 
very close because I didn't want to miss and I didn't want to die to the number uh, Ice Punch. And uh, yeah, I just KO Soul, the full crown of it, to Dragon Pulses. Go into, he goes into the Y2K and uh, his turns out to be Specs, as you will see in the chat in like a little bit. And a Specs Leaf Storm actually does have a chance of taking it down. Uh, I am, I think, on 63. Yeah, 63.8 or so uh, percent of health, and the uh, leaf storm does about 66 percent max, so he does have a slight chance of gaining. With the specs leaf storm, and I figured he would go for that, but unfortunately he predicted me to go for the hidden power fire, and he, well, I guess I should have gone for the hidden power fire in hindsight, but I, I figured the dragon boss would kill. Him. And in hindsight, I also caught um, how much uh, this would do to an uninvested uh, like. 252 uh, speed, 252 special attack, Rotom, and it would have been a guaranteed KO. So it turned out to be bulky specs. And I went for the Dragon Pulse because I figured it would be a KO, but unfortunately I got a, like a minimum roll. I think 65.1 was the min roll, and I got 65.5. So, um, But yeah, uh, he forfeits uh, because he has nothing for this, uh, this bus list. I honestly, I think he could have bluffed the choice item on the Latios. Uh, I guess I wouldn't have fallen for it. I guess maybe if he went into Latias before he went into Rotom, I might have switched actually. I think I would have switched him. Um, just switched into the uh, the Bronson as well because it's a good check, and I still had Bestless Ground to uh, clean up the game and late game if uh, he revealed to be not scored. But he could have lowered the score from a six or two to a five or the best. But yeah. Um, this was the game against Zebro. Um, he fell for the um, for the lure for the um, my Dragon Pulse on his um, scissor. And yeah, I mean, if I if I eventually hit Power Fire the first turn, he would have lost the uh, scissor regardless, since it does over 100% damage guaranteed at plus two uh, special attack. So uh, I guess in hindsight he should have prepared a little bit better for superior, at least an offensive superior. Because he uh, he got swept by it, so. but this was the game. It was a good game, nevertheless, because uh, of course you uh, you did play uh, you did play your cards pretty well uh, up until the, the uh, well my lure <laughs> with my talking in the chat. So my apologies for that. I didn't want actually want to win the game like this because I really like I said I felt confident in my matchup. Uh, so I definitely I, I honestly I don't want to say it right away, but I. I felt like I could win this uh, just by sheer my, my team's sheer overpowering in his team. Uh, of course, he, he didn't have a chance to win, of course, because the scissor was a big threat because uh, my Arcanine was weakened a lot because of the, uh, uh, the switch into Folk Rome. But I'm rambling on. Um, thanks for watching. Um, check out Jbro. I'll leave, if I don't forget, at least I'll leave his links in, this, in the description below. He's a pretty good battler. Uh, unfortunately, he did. Uh, he didn't uh, manage to show it in this game, but uh, I'm pretty sure he will. Uh, he will come back next week, and uh, he may be able to uh, reach the playoffs. He still has a decent chance to to get there, so uh, I may face him again, and I will uh, very likely see the fail in that matchup. So uh, <laughs> anyway, uh, see you for now. I'm facing Tom, the the Rizzle is beast, or the Rizzle, the Rizzle the man, I think is his uh, Twitter. I will face him next week, and uh, and uh, hopefully I will kind. I, I can quickly show you the um, the standings right here because I lost uh, the two games. I was uh, when I was sick. I am in fact second on the uh, spreadsheet right here. Uh, the differential is the same uh, as the number one guy, and the number one guy is facing the Swansea City, which came from a zero three and. Uh, a 0-3 streak into a 5-3 streak, so he's on a comeback, and I have really good hopes that he will be able to take down Lars. Because Lars' team isn't that scary, um, so I figure that uh, a pretty good player like Sasha will be able to, to murk him, and I will be able to reclaim my number one spot, which I deserve, of course. So, And Nacho, unfortunately for him, lost against Tom uh, this week, so I do uh, have to fear him, and even though he's 12th on spreadsheet. Um, done this for a little bit longer than I kind of wanted to, but I'm gonna keep it at this. This is the current spread uh, spreadsheet, the league table thing. So hopefully you um, you still rooting for me and you still expect me to uh, to end up first before the season ends in, uh, in about three weeks time. So 
I will keep you up to date. See ya.